In this video, I will discuss broken object level authorization. And uh, this is a risk uh, which was identified by Open Web Application Security Project in 2009 uh, when they published uh, the top 10 risk against application programming interfaces. So uh, this vulnerability exists against uh, the security of application programming interfaces or APIs. So this is a, a application server and uh, it is hosting a resource. Now this user wants to access this resource by using the application programming interface of uh, this application server or the application. So uh, uh, we can call this resource as application programming interface endpoint or API endpoint uh, since it is serving uh, or responding uh, to the user when user will approach uh, the uh, application server by using its application programming interface. So user uh, will use the application programming interface and uh, will pass uh, the uh, URL uh, by including uh, the API endpoint ID. Now this uh, approach has uh, one inherent uh, risk uh, so if only the API endpoint ID uh, is the authorization mechanism to access uh, the resources of an application server, then uh, any malicious user can manipulate and use a different uh, API endpoint to access a different resource for which he no, uh, doesn't have the authorization. For example, uh, in this uh, example, uh, in this URL, the shop name uh, can be modified uh, to access the revenue details of different online shops. So uh, what we can do is we can include an additional parameter of access rights. So if a particular user has the access rights of an API endpoint then uh, he uh, must be allowed access otherwise he should be denied. So in order to implement uh, the access right uh, the authorization should be based upon uh, user uh, policies and user hierarchy and furthermore the API endpoint uh, should be random. So their IDs should not be in a uh, sequence, rather these IDs should be random and should not be able uh, to be guessed by the malicious user. And another thing is uh, we have to uh, validate the authorization uh, mechanism by testing the API security. This was all. Thank you.